All right, guys. So welcome back to Martha is dead. I actually had to think twice about starting this game and actually continuing this game and starting this episode, I should say. About that last episode, the first one of the series, it started off nice and slow. It was all cool and dandy. And I must say within the last 45 minutes, things got really 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 dark that my intentions originally were to play the first episode for about two two and a half hours i just kind of had to put it down i had to take a breather it was a lot to just suck in you know what i mean and it's not that it's like crazy jump scares it's a couple of jump scares here and there but it's about what they show and about the just the pure grit and darkness of the story who killed martha was it her sister was it a creepy lady in the woods how did she drown like was it a war you know tragedy these are the mysteries that i'm really really conflicted by and i want to know what really happened and i see it in the comments as well of the first episode it seems like a lot of you guys are on the same page i'm gonna take a look here and right now we've got the newspaper um i think we already did this we have these two the camera at the lake we just finished this one and this is, I'm dirty and bloodstained. I should wash myself and get ready. Then I can go and develop these film rolls. Okay, so we have to change underwear. We have to take the bag with the cameras and the rolls of film and dress ourselves. All right, so that's right. We stained our bed sheets. Um, I completely forgot about that. We just woke up all of a sudden. It's not our time of the month yet, by the way. But... Apparently, our bed is just full of blood. So we're going to go here. We're going to grab some clothes, I, I suppose. Um, you know what? We're going to go ahead and grab this one right here. What am I thinking? I would stain my clothes with blood. Oh, okay. So you want to shower first. I thought you wanted to... Okay, I thought you wanted to grab the clothes, take it to the bathroom, and then shower, you know? Like... You're going to end up coming out naked from from the bathroom. That's just not very proper. Okay, hold on. Where's, oh, this is the bathroom. Okay. Interesting. Okay. I'm going to go ahead here and do my due diligence. Please don't show anything we don't need to see right now. All right. Thank you. That's better. But I still don't understand all of that blood. That's never happened to me before. But I'm not going to tell my doctor. Otherwise, he'll make me stay in bed and rest. So you're telling me you're not going to tell your doctor about something you've never experienced before. That is very, uh, very genius. The elegant dress. No, I'll never hear the end of it from mother. Okay, fine. Well, this is interesting because this is this is our clothes, right? Yeah, Julia. Oh. It's very rude, but I could pick up the phone and listen to their conversation. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go. How are you doing today, Rennie? I'm worried, Father. Very worried. We found more partisan tracks in the woods, right next to the house. That Lapo. I suspect he may be involved in the death of... No, please don't say that. It's, it's not possible. I know the boy and I don't... Father, anything is possible in these dark times. Anything. That boy didn't even come to say goodbye to Julia. Didn't they love each other dearly? He must be terribly scared and Julia always used to say that. Yeah, sure, she used to say they were just friends, but you know too, right? Friends are not supposed to do such things, Father. Or are they? But anyway, you're defending them both. You, my husband, and even the nanny who, deep down, is a good woman. The nanny? I believe the nanny is the one who hurt Julia. With her evil passion for those cards, they are cursed things. I hope you made them disappear. Of course. I keep them safe in my room. Anyway, you must forgive me, Father. I have to go. They've come to pick me up. Have a good day. You too. Bro. Lapo's involved in Martha's death. My mother is losing her mind again. How could anyone even imagine such nonsense? So... And Donatilio, he is a great friend, but what a weird view. 
Those cards are just a game, but most importantly, they're mine. Why on earth did they take them from me? See, that's 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 a suspect that I never thought about. The nanny. She's she's odd up, you know, they've made her seem so good. You know, reading bedtime stories and this and that to Julia. But what about Martha? You know? Okay, so I'm gonna try Following to... the dramatic news from the countryside, Archbishop Toccarelli will protest with the French in the city for the raping being committed by invading troops. New ordinance for the safety of citizens. From this moment on, it is forbidden for anyone to leave their homes and walk the streets of San Cassiano. All windows, including cellars, house entrances and doorways, must remain closed night and day. The population are advised to stay in their cellars or, where these do not exist, churches and other large buildings. The patrols of German armed forces have orders to shoot at people who are on the street or who are found looking out of their windows. I shall repeat for clarity. New ordinance for the safety of citizens. From this moment on, it is forbidden for anyone to leave their homes and walk the streets of San Cassiano. All windows, including cellars, house entrances and doorways, must remain closed night and day. The population are advised to stay in their cellars or, where these do not exist, churches and other large buildings. The patrols of German armed forces have orders to shoot at people who are on the street or who are found looking out of their windows. Wow. All right, so let's take a look at a couple of the things that this is our parents' room. This is a film roll, I suppose. 25 ISO film. When the sun is high in the sky, it's perfect. Perfect. Okay. What is this here? General Edict K. New rules on curfew and women's behavior. German command of S. Vincenzo Atori. Telephone number 1185. Hmm. Alright, I'm to turn this crap off. It's the map again. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna head back here. We're gonna see if we can inspect a couple more things. Nets for catching butterflies, poor creatures. I had so much fun with them. This seems to be a painting, a very disturbing painting. I do say so myself. I should probably go upstairs. Remember, this is our parents' room. We heard uh, our mother say that she had them hidden. So I would suppose they're probably up here. Is this dear mother this is hard but i have something to tell you i found out that julia is pregnant go to the lake tomorrow morning at seven and watch her as she bathes you'll see that her tummy is growing martha what i'm not pregnant why is everything becoming even more confusing i'm searching for an explanation but instead i'm left with more questions what what the hell? That explains the blood and that explains that crazy shenanigans that we saw in, in, in her nightmare at the end of the last episode where there was a baby, right? Oh, this is getting crazy good. This is getting really interesting. These are the cards, right? Here are my cards. Nanny and I always used to play with them. She would predict my future and I pretended to predict hers. The future was always good for everyone. Maybe when she read them, she saw my true future, which she hid from me. Or more likely, these cards are actually just a stupid game to reassure and deceive oneself with. But deceiving oneself is sometimes necessary. How can we live happily otherwise? Hmm. Pervertin again. I feel like these pills do nothing other than agitate her. Got another letter here. Romola, 15th of July, 1944. Dear Mrs. Irene, I'm writing to let you know that all is well here at the villa. Thank you for being so considerate and caring. I apologize for the simplicity of the housing you were forced to live in. 
I also locked the room where the little one used to stay as requested. I've left you the key. It is the one with the pink key ring. Try to stay safe. Best regards, Nanny. Why on earth did Mummy have that door locked? It was my room. What is she trying to hide? Oh, shoot, dude. My happy room. This is Mummy's jewelry. She wears them every day. Even though Daddy says it's impractical and dangerous to show signs of wealth these days. As usual, she doesn't want to listen to reason and ends up arguing with Daddy until he goes to play war, as she says. There are more and more weapons around, and everyone is scared after what happened. Alright, so let's take a look. We've got a couple of different revelations now. A strange note. I found this note among Mummy's things. It's Martha's handwriting, but it doesn't make any sense. Okay. The newspaper. I don't know why this is still not showing up. Read the newspaper dated 19th, uh, the, oh, the 19th of July. Okay. We never read that page. Now right, let's go downstairs. We gotta come, we gotta come back upstairs, I'm pretty sure. But, you see, it might be this room, actually. We need to find the key in order to go in there. I wanna go ahead and read this, though. I believe it's because we only the read one of the pages. The superior commander of the German Federal Armed Forces announces, one, whoever is in possession of weapons or explosives not reported to the German headquarters will be shot. Two, whoever harbors bandits and or protects them and provides them with clothing and or weapons will be shot. Three, whoever is aware of the existence of any rebel groups or even lone rebels without reporting them will be shot. Okay, this is that page, right? Yeah. Italian workers in Germany. The following rules are in place for workers who voluntarily work in Germany. A commitment of a maximum period of one year before returning to Italy. Okay. War rages on the Eastern Front. An attack launched by the Soviets after hours of cannonade. The fight on this front has been going on for a long time. Fighting in Normandy. Victorious Germanic counterattack on the road from Perriers to Carentan. Pon Heber reconquered north of San Lo. Many US losses caused by the flying bomb action. Alright, I think we're good. It seems like it was just an extra page that we had to read here. Yeah. Alright, so now we've got uh, develop the roles of films um, and find the keys. Why have they locked my childhood room? Interesting. Before we do this, okay. By the way, this is our sister. She is, she's, she's dead. Um, before we do anything, I'm gonna go see if we can develop the, the films real quick. Because if you guys remember, we, we captured three of the cameras last night at the lake before things got a little crazy. And those are the films that we've come now here to develop them. And see what secrets they might hide. I don't think that tape recorder was there. And if it was, I don't remember it. This lens increases the framed area. It allows me to fit more into the image. Red filter for super high contrast photos. With this lens, everything gets bigger. Okay, perfect. Let's see this. I have to be careful and keep the volume down as I listen. I must go unnoticed. I am meant to be deaf after all. Ready? Julia? You ready? Sure, Daddy. I'm good to start. I've already started recording. Oh, no, my voice will sound awful. No way, come on. Didn't you want to study singing anyway? No, 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 I was young and stupid when I said that. Okay, ready? Go. Oh, how nice. It's the rehearsal for last week's concert. I never heard the recording. But I was right. My voice is awful. Cannot be called singing. Anyway, it's time I develop these film roles. I can't wait any longer. I wish I could just stop time. 
as you can see the music is uh disabled due to the copyright we've got the streamer mode on which i'm so happy more games are starting to do that all right so the tape recorder objective updated i'm gonna go here now and we're gonna these images could change everything i cannot bear the fact that i may have hurt martha i would rather die damn my head and these memory lapses it's such a pain not remembering it's like getting lost inside yourself there we go i'm carrying martha to shore i'm trying to save her my memories although fuzzy do match reality i feel a little better now i can find out who really hurt martha maybe i should meet with the white lady what she might be able to tell me something is this crazy talk yes definitely but what's normal about any of this maybe you have to be a little crazy to get anything done why the hell would we want to meet with the white lady are you insane here i was running toward the pier just as i remember this is interesting okay hey, we've got one more okay there's one more row left which is gonna be the last one yep yes i've undressed and i'm about to dive in this matches my memory okay perfect okay where's the nanny what is this lorenzini haberdashery five meters of gray cotton fabric six meters of white linen fabric four meters of green satin delivered on june 5th 1944 in the event of an issue contact us on the number 6987 and this red fabric it's not been mentioned could this also be one of mummies or could the nanny have left it here i feel like that key is going to be somewhere some place that belongs to the nanny i really want to get my hands on that key and see if i can go inside the room a tripod is necessary to take photos with long exposures all right go ahead and put that aside put it in her handy dandy invisible pocket i have found what i need to take in for red photos what is this infrared oh look at the cards shuffle Oh, shoot. Oh, what the hell? The magician. What the fuck? The world. The lovers. The end of a relationship. <laughs> it's very clear. But my plans will be successful. I only need to know what these plans are. The end of a relationship. It's very clear, but my plans will be successful. Yo, that's creepy. I only need to know what these plans are. Okay, so I think here we can take a photo. Do we want to? Nah, let's put it in the bag. We don't really have to do that right now. It's not our main focus. Besides, if we take the photo, then we're going to have to go. We're going to have to go into the developer and expose it and all that shenanigans. And we're here for damn action, man. Okay? I'm not here to be taking no pics. What the hell? Oh, motherfucker. I thought I saw... Oh, no, that's not possible. Oh, you... I see this whole situation making me see things that don't... Okay. Things are starting to get a little creepy now. All right. Daddy's canes. They are so beautiful, but I can't say why, but they have always scared me. I don't need that right now. All right, let's go around. It's funny. Well, not, not technically funny, but it's kind of creepy how they've always kept that dead body there. You know what I mean? I liked watching Nanny as she cooked. I always picked up loads of techniques. New skin unlocked. Cool. 
That's funny. <laughs> New skin for your camera. Wondering if there's anything here. Maybe the key that nan the nanny was talking about is probably in the kitchen, but obviously it's not. This key's gotta be somewhere, dude. Mummy's family coat of arms. Okay, let's go up here. I'm gonna try and look really quickly where this key is. We need the key in order to... The keys to my old room are not here. Where are they? Hmm. She leaves them everywhere. I think she's having too many and too often. We need the keys to go inside the room, bro. Right, let's go back upstairs. Mom? Mommy? Hmm. I have a feeling. I'm starting to have a feeling, actually. The keys are not going to be inside the house. And they're going to be probably in the lake or something crazy like that. Something that we would never really think about. But then again... If it is in the lake, then that's a whole different plot twist there that we were not planning for. Making sure it's not here. Okay. Alright, so right now we have... white lady we have to go to the lake that's it there's no other there's no other explanation except to just go to the lake i've already basically looked in the entire house there's definitely no key in here let's go outside nothing out here hmm All right. Let's get it. <laughs> My bike. The wheel is deflated as usual. A bicycle pump will solve this. Um, a bicycle. Didn't we have a pump on the other side? Bicycle says, find a pump. Yeah, where's the pump? Is that the pump? Yes. That is the pump. Oh my god. Here's the bicycle pump. Riding bikes around here is beautiful. These are mummy and daddy's bikes though. Mine is outside. Alright, so just as I suspected. That's so creepy, dude. I'm never going to get over that. And it's crazy because the game does nothing to scare you with it. It just leaves it there. We've got the pump. All right. Pump some air on my bike. And off to the lake we go. <laughs> this is so cool. Look at the tire as it changes. That's crazy, dude. Okay, let me see. Where the hell is this freaking lake? The lake is all the way over there. Correct? Geronimo! Oh, okay. What a vibe kill, dude. Killing my vibe, bro. Woohoo! Dude, this is wild. We're actually ready to go fucking bite. 
I think I probably would have got into the lake quicker if I was on foot. This is horrendous. Let's go, man. Fuck. I don't know where we're going right now, but this is not looking friendly at all. Okay. Can I drive the bike through here? No. What is this? Get off the bike. Hold on. What is this? Tuscans. Throughout Italy, the people are fighting against the German invaders. Over a third of Italy has already been liberated from this loathed invader. We know that you are doing a lot to prevent the Germans from strengthening their power over you. The day of your liberation is approaching. Your freedom is certain. Your region is of the utmost importance in this war of liberation. Hinder the Germans by refusing to cooperate with them in any way. Transport is essential for the German troops and their supplies. Your region is the center of the transport network south of the Apennines. The Triangle of La Spezia, Florence, Livorno is of great importance to the Germans and their hope to maintain a yoke over Italy. Tuscans, double your efforts. The day of liberation is fast approaching. Unite and do your utmost to speed up your liberation. All right, let's get back on the bike. Uh, let's just hope that we can do this. Let's try one more time, okay? How do I get to that fucking lake? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, bro, I'm gonna get off this damn bike. According to Nanny, this was an old windmill. It has been abandoned for as long as I can remember, and it has always given me the creeps. All right, I'm out. We're going to speak with the white lady. Don't ask me why. I think we're actually kind of fucking crazy. We even remotely think that this is anything close to a good idea. It's quite frankly, it's just not. dead body here okay hold on going left I thought we we're, we're about to come up on a dead body I oh mother fuck doing it's dangerous i know but i want to follow them and see what's happening oh you are great you're fucking crazy all right fuck oh whoa Your handkerchief was the symbol of what you believed in. At least that is left of you. Whoa, dear Julia. 
Are you surprised that I've addressed this to you and don't think you're dead? Everyone calls you Martha now, right? I know you too well. I can never understand why no one else can ever tell you apart. Not even your own mother and father. Martha is gone and I cannot reconcile myself. <laughs> Erschossen, du Idiot! Scheiße, Scheiße, Scheiße! Was machen wir jetzt? Sieh mal, was sie um ihren Hals hat. Sie ist eine von ihnen. Es musste getan werden. Sie ist die Tochter von General Erich K., du verdammter Trottel! Sie war die Freundin von diesem armen Kerl. Oh, verdammt, jetzt sind wir wirklich am Arsch! Scheiße, lass uns abhauen! Aber, aber sie lebt noch! Sie liegt im Sterben! Siehst du, wo du sie getroffen hast? Sie ist bestimmt schon tot. Wir müssen jetzt abhauen, sonst sind wir auch bald tot. I did not expect that at all. That was so freaking incredible. I'm dying, I thought. But strangely enough, I wasn't afraid. In fact, I was almost relieved. When I returned, I found myself once again in the midst of a bad dream. One whose meaning I did not understand at the time. going on here This game is something else. This is intense. This is like a very slow and just. I give you back. Sisters were destined to die. Julia, the first sister, and Martha, the second. On Julia's day of departing, identical twins stood before me, impossible to tell apart. They questioned my presence, since they were still so young. Julia must come with me, I demanded. But they both claimed to be Martha. I explained that Martha's fate was soon to be the same, and their games were useless. I didn't have time for it. The war was keeping me busy. But they didn't concede, and instead kept insisting. 
Can we follow you together? No. Impossible. Are you sure Martha will die too? Nothing is certain in wartime. What if the wrong person went with you? Then you would have cheated death. One would die unjustly, and the other would simply be delaying her fate. They discussed amongst themselves, then hugged before one of them came forward. She stared in a determined, almost threatening manner. I guessed it was Martha sacrificing herself, giving more time to her sister. But I stayed silent, not to reveal their failed deception. No one lies to the face of their own death, so I asked how their choice was reached. We do lots by throwing a medallion, she said quietly. They had trusted in fate. Oh, how naive they were. They knew fate plays by its own rules, which is true, but it is also my ally. Fate never would have allowed the wrong girl to follow me. In that case, my work was done. She must have been Julia. However, little to my knowledge at the time, that blasted medallion had the same name engraved on both sides. Martha's. So, my first assumption was correct. They were too damn smart, and had fooled both fate and me. One thing is for sure. I'll put things back where they belong. I will correct my ignorance and give fate back its blindfold. Wow. This is such a good game. See what happens now, really, right? See what sort of crazy shenanigans is about to be on. Uh, damn, this hurts so bad. So we really got shot. I can hardly breathe. Fuck. My things. New chapter, four days after Martha's death. Why is that upside down? Okay. So that is, what is happening? Looks like mother has been here all night with me. Or rather, with Martha. She even left her medication behind. She can't live without that now. Our beautiful home. In spite of everything, I prefer being here. All right, we're shot. Can we wear something? The ceremony is today, so I need a suitable dress. This is Martha's. We're going to go with this one. I would like to spend Probably a moment with something. my sister. Just me and her alone. Before people arrive for the funeral. No, no, no. My bag is not here. <gasps> my diary. Fuck. Lapo's letter. <gasps> We are in trouble. How is my daughter? Please, doctor. Please give me good news. It's a miracle she's alive, Eric. But she will be all right. The bullet passed right by her heart and exited her chest. Unbelievably, it missed her lungs, spine, and heart. She could have been paralyzed or died. But thankfully, she's fine. I examined her thoroughly. She didn't even lose that much blood. She was lucky. And you were lucky, so to speak. She was lucky that my wife went for a walk in the woods. Otherwise... Otherwise, she would have bled to death. Yes. I don't know what to say. All of this. It's too much, so much death and suffering, nothing more. Don't worry, Eric. 
She's young, so she'll recover quickly. I'll be here all day anyway. Thank you, Doctor, for everything. <laughs> Do you mind coming with me to pick my wife up from the cemetery? The funeral will start soon in the chapel. Of course not. Lead the way. You know, with all of these preparations for the funeral, Irina wants everything to be perfect. It's her way of coping, so she doesn't have to think about everything going on. She is a woman who has suffered so much. Maybe too much. All right, here we go. We're going to go now to see Martha. Um... I'm gonna go and investigate also the room again. Just a quick Latin little. Citizens continues in La Romola. And once again, General K's family has come under fire. Now it is the life of her sister, Martha, that is in danger. The blow from the gunshot in her back could have killed her. It is only by the grace of God that the girl is alive. The anti fascist political motive appears to be the only reason behind the cowardly act. The New Zealand troops are advancing slowly. After the battle of Poggi Bonsi, on what the if 18th, the bag is here somewhere? They are still far from the Tavernelli Val di Pisa. The German resistance on the Tuscan hills has been exhausting for the invaders. What the heck? There's my bag. Ooh, Thank God. The bathroom. Perfect. The letter should be here then. Let's hope Lapo's letter is in there. Okay. Yes, it is. Here we go. Dear Julia, are you surprised that I've addressed this to you and don't think you're dead? Everyone calls you Martha now, right? I know you too well. I can never understand why no one else can ever tell you apart. Not even your own mother and father. Martha is gone, and I cannot reconcile myself to that fact. I have to stay hidden, and sadly I can't run to you. Even if I would love nothing more than to hold you tight and cry together. No words. I just want to be close to you. Can we meet in the barn tonight? I will try my best to be there around midnight. Wow. Don't be alarmed, but if things get ugly, please remember this number. 6934. He knew okay. he was in serious danger, but what about the letter? I had it in my hand when the soldiers ran off. Mummy found me, and if she's read it, well, she hates Lapo, and now she must know who I am. No, no, she probably would have left me there to die. She'd rather have no daughter than the wrong one. Before I passed out, I must have put it back in my bag. There is no other explanation. That's true, man. July 19th. I retrieved the cameras at the lake, but I had convinced myself that I was the one who had hurt Martha. So much so that when I had the rolls with me on the way home, I found myself in another horrible dream. I don't even remember going to sleep. As soon as I woke up, I developed the film. The photos confirmed to me that my memory of that night was correct. It was a great relief. I have decided to go back to the lake in an attempt to communicate with the white lady. I know it's a crazy thought, but I can't get it out of my head. I need to know what happened to Martha, so I must pursue every possible avenue. Even the path of insanity. That's nutty. Alright, so... Can we head out now? I still haven't been able to find uh, the keys, which is kind of interesting. Where the hell those keys are at? Let's keep going. We now have to go to uh, the body of, of Martha. Let's read the newspaper. Look at this. Attempted yes. murder in La Romola. After the murder of Julia Kay, today her twin sister is the victim of another attempted murder. The condition of the young girl found by the German troops is no cause for concern. The political motive behind this is becoming all the more clear. But that's not what happened. It's all wrong. Mummy was the one who found me. The German soldiers shot me. Best to stay wow. quiet. 
no one ever believes the truth. New ordinance ban on the use of bicycles. Over the last few days, cyclists have once again shot at members of the Italian armed forces and at civilians in the streets. The offenders will be punished in accordance with German martial law. Even in Florence, the war is beginning to be felt. Supplies are starting to run out. Bread may only last a few more days. Prices are rising dramatically. Meat can now be found for 100 to 140 lira per kilo. The gas has been cut and there is no coal. Attempted murder in Laura Mola. After the murder of Julia Kay, today her twin sister is the victim of another attempted murder. The condition of the young girl, found by the German troops, is no cause for concern. The political motive behind this is becoming all the more clear. The Battle of Tuscany. German operations in the Livorno area. Extremely violent fighting in the streets of the city. All right. That's why the newspaper objective is always there. I should oh. pick up the phone but remain silent. If I let the caller speak first, I'll find out who it is. Hello? Ma'am? Can you hear me? Is there somebody there? Mr. Eric? It's the nanny. I can confide in her. Nanny? Hello, it's me. What? Hello? Oh my lord. I must be dreaming or something. No, Nanny, you're not dreaming. It's really me, it's Julia. Oh my God, Julia, my little sparrow. How wonderful. Sorry, but I thought you were dead. I, I saw you lying there dead. This brings me so much joy that... Actually, you must explain to me, my little sparrow, what is happening? Uh-oh. I don't trust her, dude. I told Nanny everything that had happened. Oh. She was sad for Martha, of course, but very happy at the same time. I was the one she had a special bond with. I explained to her that I wanted to try and meet the white lady, even if I knew it was oh. a silly idea. But she didn't think I was a fool. Quite the opposite. Dude. She explained to me what I should do in an attempt to meet her. It was complicated. I noted everything down carefully in my diary. Who knows, maybe she did it only to keep me occupied, while deciding what to do with me and who to warn. I won't ever know, though, because that very same day, a bomb struck the villa and she died. What? We all died. We should have been in that house ourselves, but instead, poor Nanny. Bye, Nanny. I love you. Goodbye, my darling. I thought I'd lost you. Be careful, my little sparrow. Yo, she died? Oh my god, you can now use a telephone to make calls. What the fuck? Okay, so if I go here. Doctor. Hmm, German command. The asylum. I'm good. I'm not gonna make a call right now. Oh, where the fuck? Fuck is Martha? Martha was taken to the chapel for her funeral. I want to say goodbye to her alone before everyone arrives. <laughs> I can't ride here. Better walk on foot. Poor little one. He's dead. Poor little guy. His place is by Martha's side. 
Don't pick that shit up, man. Oh my god. Nanny always calls me Little Sparrow. This is the part of me that died with Martha. It'll be safe next to her. What? <laughs> what are you doing? Here, Martha. This is my heart. Carry it with you. I'm starting to understand how painful your condition must have been. Not being able to properly communicate with anyone is becoming increasingly difficult. I envied you, but I did not see your suffering. I did not understand your courage. I miss you so much, Martha. I'm not worthy to dress in your clothes. Hmm. Now I know what must be done to meet the lady. Nanny has explained everything to me. I must try to meet her early in the morning when it is foggy, or all will have been in vain. That's what the legend says. This is what I need to do. One, I must reinvoke her loss by putting her into contact with her lover. Oh, to God. do this, Nanny said to look for his grave in the woods, but there are so many. Daddy always said that infrared photos can see what the naked eye cannot. Maybe then they also see ghosts. There wouldn't be anything strange about that now, considering I'm trying to contact one after all. How crazy. Two. A part of me needs to enter her world. A lock of hair would work, so I'll need scissors to cut some off. Three, I will need an object that connects her world to mine. I don't know what to do for this yet. Hopefully something will come to mind when I least expect it. Four, to communicate with her, I will need to use my tarot cards. I will meet with the lady on the island where her lover was executed. Personal objects. Bro, that is creepy, man. There's only a few signatures from my funeral. If people had known that it was actually Martha, there would have been far more. I'm sorry that I took this from you too. <coughs> Commune of San Casciano. Province of Florence. Death certificate. From the Register of Death Certificates of this Commune, number 174, part 3, series 12 of the year 1944. It is certified that on the day of the 16th of July of the year 1944, Julia Kay has died, resident of Via Perchabaya, born in La Romola. On the 26th of February 1923, the daughter of General Erich Kay and Irene Kay Don Attilio D will give the funeral and the esteemed Mr. Alberto M, who will look after the burial in the cemetery of La Romola. Telephone number 6537. The official state civil service. General Galeazzo T. Alright, so we've basically interacted with everything here. Okay. So if we take a look here at the objectives tab. Um, this is the lover, right? So the diary, I must re-invoke her loss by putting her in contact with her lover. Okay. The diary, I will need an object to connect her world and mine. Piece of hair. That's the white lady. Uh, the telephone. The white lady, the lover. Take infrared photos. I need a special infrared film. The tripod that I use to take self portraits will be okay. Didn't we pick up that tripod in the, uh, Hmm. Didn't we pick that up already? That Raven is making a big fuss. Oh God. The Raven. Find the Raven. Maybe it's the same Raven that killed that poor Sparrow. Hey, this is getting creepy, man. This 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 is gonna lead me to the freaking lady. Watch. Oh God. What is that? Huh? That 
that's the red cloth. Dress? It's made from the same fabric I found a shred of next to the lake. In fact, it is torn. It must be my mother's. My goodness. Oh. I started to suspect that Mummy could have been involved in Martha's murder. Lost in these thoughts, hours passed, and I completely forgot about the funeral. When I realized it was evening, they were already carrying the coffin towards the cemetery. She never loved me, I knew that well. But I would never have believed that. Had it been her, I struggled to believe it, but it made so much sense. At the lake, she must have thought Martha was me because she was convinced that I was dead. Bro, that is trippy, dude. What if it's her own mother? What is going on here? Oh my God. When the funeral ended, I felt an irresistible urge to play. I loved music. I started playing without thinking about the possible consequences. I didn't care anymore. I needed to feel alive, to exist again. Now we've got music here disabled due to copyright. That's good. That way we don't have to worry about any, any strikes. But this is crazy. This is. I still feel like we're going to get a crazy plot twist, but this is her just suspecting at the moment that her mother was the one that wanted her dead. But let's say that is the case. Let's say. What's going on here? Julia? Is that you? No, it's not possible. Martha's never played. She's deaf, yet. No. This is madness. My God. So, Martha? I understand now. You can get all of the attention, right? You were jealous, weren't you? Because she was a wonderful girl and, and you're just a useless little slut. How did you manage to convince her? I get it now. But she, she talked to me. I, I, no, it doesn't make sense. I will have you locked up in an asylum. You hear? That's enough. You will pay for what you've done, you cursed lunatic. They will torture you to reveal the monsters in your head. What the fuck? Her words were as sharp as blades. I tried to tell her that it wasn't me. I showed her the photos I developed that proved my innocence. But she grew all the more angry calling me crazy, and then she began to hit me with everything she had at hand. I closed my eyes as more darkness began to take over in me. Memories came flooding back, not memories of actual past events, but more so of feelings, feelings I had when I was little. They were scary, they were the fears of a little girl. Despite what had happened, I went walking in the woods early the next morning to meet the lady. The evening before, my father had tried desperately to console me. Talk to me, Julia. You know I love you. I just want to understand what happened. I am happy you are alive. Even if we have lost Martha, your mother was just in shock. She didn't want to hurt you. I don't know, Pops. I don't know, Pops. I don't know. So let's see. The white lady. So the lover and my personal object are the two requirements that we need. To meet the white lady the spirit of the white lady lives in the lake nanny always told me her story before going to sleep but it have some truth in it all right guys so we're gonna end it here we're gonna call it quits right here 
and we are going to go ahead and meet the white lady on the next episode. We still have several things, as you saw, that we have to collect before we head out to the lake and um, see if we can somehow come face to face with this lady and see what really happened. This story is really, really interesting. Um, it's a more slow and pacey type of horror game, but the story, the revelations that are being told and, and discovered are really, really interesting. And I'm, I'm just at the point where I just want to know what really happened. How did Martha really die? Did our mother really want us to die? I mean, I'm so intrigued and I hope you guys are as well. If you'd like to see part three, drop the video a like. That lets me know that you do. And thank you for watching today's video. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll catch you guys on the next one.